Welcome back to my tutorial, everyone. I'm actually- So, we went through our Atari and Catarist, right? And by now, you should have 34 missiles and 199 health, which is the- Which is, indicates a purple bar on the screen. So, start by heading here and just walking. And as soon as you get to here, dash melee and then spin. Because dash meleeing, um, allows you to, um, like- not bonk the platform, and then pressing B to respin allows you not to bonk here where the map marker is. Alright, for Adam Skip, the big trick of the century. So, to do this trick, so what this trick accomplishes is getting up to the magnet. By the way, way harder than it looks, right? Where I'm shooting, that's, that's where you want to be, right? So to do this trick, um, you want to start by doing something called a buffered wall jump, okay? So, buffered wall jump is when Samus, when you press B, and then you kind of, you press right and B, it's not, the right isn't super strict, but as long as you, like, jump, jump around where this yellow line is, I think. That's where you want to buffer the wall jump. Again, the timing is not super strict for these. These are pretty simple to get. These are pretty standard. So, by doing one of these, it helps to set up the trick in a way to get up the magnet. Each part of the trick is important because it will set up your height. So, start by jumping like this, right? And now for the second buffered wall jump, hold right and press B on kind of this yellow wall. Like that. So, I forgot to explain the melee. So, to do this trick, you have to do that and then kind of melee around here-ish. And then while you're meleeing, you all hold right the entire time during the melee sequence. Press press X, and then you'll want to kind of tap B. With my method, you can spam it. So how I do the melee is on the controller, you see you see the X button, right? I kind of swipe that in B. So that way I can buffer my inputs really easily. It's how I've been able to do this trick with consistency, and it's how I've been able to time the melee. It works really well, right? That was not good. I failed to set up my height there. So, again, with this trick, like, you'll want to kind of press B and do that. Press B, swipe, kind of swipe X and B while setting up the buffered wall jumps. So first buffered wall jump, press B. Like, as soon as you get to here, press X and then press B. Hopefully you can keep track of this. And I've explained Adam's skip ball. So, so the melee is the hardest part of the trick. And, um, don't, don't, so feel free to skip this. Because if you don't want to do Adam skip, the alternate, the alter, the other option is going down here where I'm shooting and through this door. But because we're speedrunners, we actually want to do this trick. So first, buffer your wall jumps like that and then do the melee. And I want to review it. So, like, right here. Uh, when you're doing the first buffered wall jump, for the second, you'll want to press B and hold right here. Because then, holding right will get you to the correct spot, and then you can do the swipe sequence by pressing X and then B. And then you have you have a lot of leniency for this trick. Once you start to get the hang of it and you know what you're doing, you can you can you can fix Adam skip every time you get a, you mess it. So. So again, buffer ball jump here, buffer ball jump here, melee, swipe X and B together, then while holding right, then jump here, and then jump to the magnet in your throw. So that's Adam's skip, right? 
feel free to rewind, feel free to slow it down or rewind it. And that's kind of, I feel like I've gone over Adam Skip kind of enough. So, again, to summarize, buffer wall jump here, hold B and right, B and right here, then melee here while holding right, swipe X and B while holding right kind of, and then buffer wall jump, wall jump, and then you're up on the magnet. That's kind of how, that's kind of how Adam Skip works. So again, I can normally get this under five tries. And that's kind of that's kind of how to do Adam Skip. Now that we're through with that, I think we should move on. And then charge a shot here. And above here slide a I forgot to say slide. And then you'll want to kind of charge a shot here and then I want to teach you a minor optimization. Instead of doing that, there's a faster option to go through this room. So, first thing I want to do, hold free aim on the slope. Hold free aim and then jump. And then, well, after you press free aim jump, you want to use the phantom cloak like that. Yeah, like that. You want to jump. Actually, what you want to do is jump like this. No, that's not how you do that. That's what you want to do by just jumping, free aiming, jump, free aim, and cloak. Kind of hold free aim while jumping because you'll make the jump. Hold free aim first, then jump, then cloak. Free aim, jump, cloak is the sequence you want to use. Now that I've explained that well, move to the Emmy zone. Jump here, quick rise on this ledge, quick rise again. And then just jump, jump off this ledge, and then wall jump again, and then ledge hop here. Now you'll just want to move and kill the flies, and then just run through the flames. Spin fall there. Keep walking, slide, slide. Alright, for the pseudo wave, if you don't get this, just shoot it like that. Shoot the thermal switch like that, but with a charge shot. I'll show the pseudo wave version. Oh, nice. So, again, the same thing with the cloak pseudo. You want to hold it down at a certain angle to get it. So, so I also forgot to explain a thing. Here's the thing about Adam Skip. So, to the, the why we do Adam Skip, one, it saves an entire minute getting here to this switch. Then, then what it also does is puts Adam on voicemail for the rest of the game, meaning you won't have to talk to him. So, pseudo wave at this angle. So, how it kind of works is delay the jump, jump, delay, and then fire. Because then... Yeah, so jump, delay, and then fire. Or, if you don't want to, just... The slide, free him, and then charge it. Like that. And then... Once the, thir once the lava stops straining, slide through here, walk, slide, wall jump, carry a scooter screw to c carry the, to, to kill the plies. So you could kill the ply going down, so and then both of them will be dead. So just walk here, slide, and then kill these enemies and slide through. And now for the next section, this will kind of be a bit tricky to explain. So start walking through, dash melee, and then, like, when you get around here, put the control stick in the opposite direction so you can bonk less platforms, saving more frames. Right? So start walking through. Just a sec, guys. Um, okay, cool. You want to dash melee like that, and then, that was not what I intended. I clearly intended that. Welp, I died. That's okay. So dash me like that, and then 
like around here, like where the map marker is, kind of start spinning. Kind of, kind of flick the opposite direction, and then dash mail off of here, because the Emmy will be right around here, I think. I'll reload the checkpoint to kind of show what I'm talking about. So dash mail like this. Like, he'll be right here. Dash my lay here so you can avoid detection because he is no he because by the time he goes to investigate, it's gonna be too late. Alright, I'll explain the next part. It's kind of quick moving. And kind of um so kill that ply with a charge shot and then like it this is gonna be hard to explain. Even if I may not cover it, I'll be fine. So charge it here, delay your jump, and then... So we're trying to actually skip a magnet cycle here. So when you're... It's not what I want. There are many ways, so kind of how this works is you want to delay your jump and then do that. So jump later than you would think. That was too late. So I like to have a pseudo screw charge here. And then at the right time, I like to cling on to the magnet. I'll kind of show it again, and then I'll move on. Come on. You have to be quick with this. If I don't get this in, like, the next try moving on, because I've shoved this. Kind of like that, but a little bit better. I won't spend too long on this. That's how it's supposed to be done. Alright, so... As soon as you're up here, you can just fire a charge shot to kill that. Or what you... Actually, I forgot to show the um, optimal way of doing it. So normally after falling down, there's a ply, melee it to fall down to block it out of your way. And then, kind of what you want to do here. So quick rise here, grab onto the magnet, switch directions, and then ledge hop. Slide off this ledge, and then keep going. And then go past the save from ignoring it. Alright, how to go through this room optimally. So... Instead of just ledge grabbing, you'll also want to hang on the ledge and then press the opposite direction. Then you'll want to do that. Shoot the blocks above and then charge the door. I'll show that again. So to see how the room should be done. Like that. So again, the steps are grab the ledge, flip the, press the opposite direction, wall jump, and then as soon as you kind of get to here-ish, you just you shoot the blocks, and then press up, and then quick charge the door, and then go through the room, dash melee off of here so you can bonk plus platform, slide, and then um jump, and then grab the magnets. Then you press down, slide. Quick rise, quick rise again. Shoot down twice. Pseudo have a pseudo screw being carried. Then ledge hop like this. And then ledge hop again. And now grab your second E tank. Then jump off to kind of. Let me kill him. So, kind of. Jump to this platform and then ledge hop here. 
Slide here, slide here, activate the, ther the thermal switch. Now that you've done that, proceed through this thermal door. Slide off of here, ledge hop, ledge hop again, kill him with this, kill him, kill him and then ledge hop like that. Charge shot him, jump over him, spin fall, and then spin fall again. And now welcome to Dyeron. Fold, treat Dyer, treat the wide beam more fold splits like it's your first playthrough. That's how you, that's. Yeah, so anyway. Note, you can still run the route no matter what copy you're playing. All, what I'm doing, you do, can be done on an unhacked, unmodded switch. It also can be done on the physical copy on the game. Also, if you don't want to use a turbo controller, that is fine. There are definitely techniques to mash, but I'll kind of explain that later. So, walk through a room, jump, one side wall jump on here, and then the same thing we discussed in Catters, we're going to do it again. So, jump, frame, hold it. That is... So, like that. Jump, hold frame, and then cloak to get on here. And then walk, and then get, let go of the magnet. Then running free aim, and shoot two blocks, and then respin like, right here. Slide, slide, open the door, open the door. Slide, spin fall here, dash melee here. I want to explain charge missile here. So if you press a charge and then double half R, you'll fire both a charge beam and a missile. It's very useful for killing Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll show it done fast. So again, just practice holding a charge and then double tapping B. Double tapping R. Sorry, double tapping R. Hold the charge. Like that. And then shoot the blocks here and then spin fall like that. Slide, slide, open the charge door like here. Spin fall, dash melee. Then shoot missiles as you're going down. Charge missile here. Slide down. Shoot. Slide. Slide. Ledge hop. I'll kind of show that again. Like that. So you do a coyote jump and then you press B. Then slide here, slide, then ledge hop, ledge hop, ledge hop like this so you'll never get hit. That was not good. So, the enemy I just killed, you could ignore it and do that and he will never hit you. Ledge hop, ledge hop, ledge hop, kill him with two missiles, spin fall, then shoot the blocks, then go down. Slide down and press down so you don't grab the ledge. Now activate the um, power generator so we can get our next upgrade of the run. So, now, I want to explain another mechanic. So, ledge hop and then, ledge hop and then change directions to ledge hop again. Like this. Then go through the room. Ledge hop, ledge hop. You could dash melee or you could kill it with two missiles like this. And then slide off of here, open the mist culver. Slide and then shoot the orb while doing this. And then grab the power up. Now you have the wide beam. So, this is going to be your major beam upgrade for a while. So you can do that. Slide and then hold the stick neutral. And then. You know, wait for the blocks to reform. Slide, slide, and let go of neutral. Shoot the blocks, shoot the blocks like this, and then, then open the wide beam cover like this. Dash melee off of here. Get, intentionally get hit. 
I'll just reload the checkpoint to see how the room is done. I'll kind of explain how to deal with wide beam boxes. Slide off of here. Again, just copy everything I do. Ledge hop, and then hold a charge as soon as you... As soon as your, um... As soon as you're on the sledge, you run. As soon as you... As soon as you ledge hop, after you ledge hop, you let go of the charge, because then you will hit all parts of the wide beam box, and then you will, um, it will always push forward, and, um, now we did that, we're going to ledge hop here, we're going to ledge hop here, mantle, quick rise here, and then quick rise here, and then kill, kill, kill the dude with beams. And then quick rise here, kill that with a charge, and then go through the enemy zone. Now shoot the blocks. Ledge hop, and then skip the cutscene, pressing plus and then minus. And then as soon as you go down the sledge, release a charge. And then walk forward. Jump. Jump. Shoot. Um, that went wrongly. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> What happens when you stall? So again, we get to show this again at least. So again, jump, jump, and then release a charge. So that way the charge door can open a bit faster. And then where I'm standing, just, that's, just jump where my beam is shooting, and then you will, then the shutter will never activate. Then just run hold, forward holding a charge, release it, and then dash melee off this ledge. Then run forward. Then quick, then ledge hop here, quick rise, stand on the base of the magnet, and then I'll so stand on the base of the magnet, then one side wall jump off of it, and then I'll kind of show it how it should be done in a run. And then, and then after destroying the wide beam box, slide off the ledge. So you want to go, I think, around here. I'll just show it one more time, and then we'll go back to Cataris to get the morphing ball or the morph balls, as the game calls it. So dash melee off of here. Instead of jumping like this, dash melee will allow you to get the platform lower. It's a bit faster. Then ledge off of here. I'm sliding too early. That's my air. Charge a shot, then slide. I'll just show it how it should be done properly one time, and then we'll move on. So again, after jumping, release the shot. Because then, um, you'll always... Because, here's the thing. You cannot be, like, one pixel off. This game is being annoying. Kind of like that. So, I'll just... Like that. So slide off of here and then go through the door. Actually... So again, slide off this. So again, I'll just show the motions.
to again charge that and then slide. And then go through the door. And then go back to Catarus. And then just enjoy the ride for meanwhile. And then, head brights. And then, slide, slide again, respin, and as soon as you land on the ground, hold the charge boom, and then that will be pushed over automatically. Slide again, then charge shot it, and then do the same thing we discussed. Dash melee, and then spin around where the um gray is. And then you fall, and then open the wide beam cover, wall jump here, climb the magnet, and then just shoot beams as you're going, then dash melee. I'll ch show two strategies for killing the core, the core. Just spam missiles into it if you want a basic strategy. I'll show you what's more advanced and what is optimal. I'll show you what's more optimal for, um... You do charge missiles on the Korax. So, again, charge missiles is when you hold a charge and then double tap R. And then spam beams to defeat it quickly. And now that the core, the central unit's dead, dash melee here, Omega Blaster the door. Now for the basic quick kill. Start by holding a charge and then shooting. And then, just aim at his faceplate like this. You want to destroy the blob early, otherwise you'd have to slide under him. Like that. I think it's super simple to fall. Again, just go in, shoot, and then slide and shoot. And then, just aim your, just aim your, aim your Omega Boxer at the head. And then you'll get him every time. Now we have the Morph Ball. We have the Morph Ball. So, the Morph Ball. So, this game breaks the tradition of Morph Ball and Bomb first, fun fact. Spin Fall off of here, then Dash Mail off of here, slide, slide, and then buffer a Morph Ball, then buffer ZL later than you would think. Then slide again to get speed, and then unmorph. Kind of show that again. So unmorph like that, then slide, and then jump over the missile. The reason we do not need this missile is just a waste of time. Now go through the enemy zone door. Slide, 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 ball hop, slide, shoot them. Then slide, then sl then s s then slide, and then morph jump like this. And then get out of Morph Ball. And then as you're falling down, shoot the blocks like this. And then shoot the shoot the next block. Slide through. And as soon as you get to this tile, do a neutral jump. It depends. Alright, the next thing. This de completely depends on you. This is not needed, but you are more than welcome to grab this Missile Plus tank. I will just grab it for the showing. Since this is a beginner time restricted tutorial, you do not need it by any means, but you can still grab it if it's for comfortability. I do not recommend grabbing it, but it's up to you. It's about player preference, really. So use Red TP to go back to Artaria. Yeah, so, we're just gonna wait it out. 
then um as soon as you're as soon as you start to get control slide and then do that i'll show it without the um without the little creatures in the water i don't know what they're called but yeah so slide and then um do that so kill them for showing do that kind of so slide and then um morph and then go through the tunnel and then i want to show another mechanic morph boosting so if you do that if you morph off a ledge in water you'll get a short boost we can use this to speed up some sections like that it's a tad bit faster than just doing that because you'll get a speed boost instead and then kill that and then again water ledge hop by jumping and then holding the opposite direction go through the safe room midair morph and then jump over the e part like this so to do that just press zl and b and then uh, when you're jumping you'll want to press b and y to kill kill the creature kill the slug and ledge hop so unmorph here and then and then shoot the press up to uncrouch and then shoot the blocks and then just slide here and then just mash b as you're going through the through the gap where i'm at and now ledge hop on here instead of doing that that is slower said we'll do this and then ledge hop here then quick rise here quick rise here quick rise here then mid air morph there is a charge shot door you can do but it's extremely precise it requires you to get your charge shot at a very specific angle if you want However, rule of thumb, in some places that it's actually better to grab ledges than midair morph. The simple version is ledge hop here and then do a quick charge to open the door. Or you can be real fancy and do that. Use a use a midair morph. Use that. use kind of that to open the door anyway or or just do that and then do a quick charge like that and then when you're running release the charge to open the door and then quick rise here and then and then activate the thermal station all right to move through this side off of here ledge hop here quick rise ledge hop shoot the block then mid or more So again, slide here, ledge hop, quick rise, shoot the block. Ideally, you could mid-air morph here, and then slide again, slide, grab the magnet, shoot, jump in mid-air, and then sh shoot to destroy both blocks. Then destroy the blocks here, slide, wall kick instead of doing that, you want to wall kick here. And then shoot the blocks and then mid our morph and then walk through and then you're you're out of the zone. Then shoot here. Shoot the missile cover and then walk through. Just grab the ledge and then grab the Varia suit. Alright. We only need the suit because of Dyron. If we could if we could get past the two hot rooms in Dyron, we would not be going here, but we're going here anyway. So slide off of here, slide here, shoot up in the door, slide and then shoot the blocks, and then slide and open a charge shot, dash my lay here, dash my lay here, slide, 
and then roll into a ball, and kind of then press right to get into the hole. And then unwarp and actually, um, actually, um, quick rise instead. Dash melee here, slide, and then slide and respin. So, first of all, by sliding, um, yeah, so slide first, and then press B. Slide B, and then flick the stick in the opposite direction, like that. So now go. Now open the charge shot with the door dash melee, and then s slide morph, and then respin off of here. Because why we morph while we falling? Morphing actually has a faller, fall faster falling speed. Now we go to back to Cataris. So, now we're back in Cataris, right? Slide, morph, and then you'll fall through the crumble blocks. Then go here, shoot, then morph. Then shoot the blocks, and then shoot this blob. Instead of going here, which you could, but instead, because this is a UR Beginner's tutorial, ledge hop and then morph. And then you're through. Then hold a charge shot at an angle. Like that, so that way you can kill that. Then ledge hop here, and then ledge hop, dash melee, slide more, ball jump, open the door, slide, charge shot. Do the same thing here with the cloak slide, with the cloak jump. And then go through the enemy zone. Quick rise again. Pretending the plies are here. Then ledge hop like that. Actually, fire shot. Ideally, you want to fire shots at an angle, and so that way you can kill the block. Then we're going to dire on, in fact. So, welcome back. Yeah, so now we're going to die on. We're actually going to head to bombs. Not, we're actually not going to go to diffusion at all. This is why we're doing this. You can grab diffusion if you want, but we're instead going to teach you how to wall clip in this tutorial. I'm going to find a good stopping place, maybe about 40 minutes. I think I could cover backdoor flash by then. Anyway, let's keep going. So again, keep walking, and then... Grab the ledge like I just did. Slide, slide, slide. Again, feel free to save here, but we're going to keep going anyway. Slide, respin, spin fall, and then dash melee. Then just charge a shot, because charge wide will do more damage than just a regular charge in a missile. Then ledge hop here, slide. Ideally, you'll want to um do that. Do that, then slide off of here, and then slide again, shoot beams, morph, and then press up. And then go through the door like this. And then grab the ledge, mid or morph here, prepare a charge, slide, and then slide here, and then open the door. So, again, the side effect with the atoms. If you don't do atom skip, this atom is dormant. You can just walk through the room, which is nice. Instead of talking to them, wasting like 15 seconds. Now just walk through the room, mid air morph, jump over him. There's a, there's, there's, a, there might be a better strategy that I don't know, but what I do know is mid air morph, jump, stand at the base of the magnet, and then mid air morph, and then jump through. Now enter the Emmy Zone door, shoot the blocks. All right, I want to show you the bad spawn, the notorious spawn, what to do here. I want to train you to be prepared to deal with this spawn, right? 
So... He's not giving me it. I won't spend too long on this. So again, just... He's not giving me it. I really want to show this because of how important it is. And how to handle the spawn. Alright, he gave me it. So, stand on the magnet and then just... He... Alright, I just Emmy parried him. That's one thing you need to... Ideally, you want to ledge hop and then go through here. Then kill him with a charge, slide and coyote jump, and then ledge hop like that. I'll have the Emmy not annoying me, so that way I can actually demonstrate how to handle the room. Really? So again, charge shot here. Slide, and then coyote, and then ledge hop. I want, I want him to not give me the spawn now. I just want I just want to I just want to showcase the coyote. Good. Then just run through here. Aim up and kill the robot. Then when you're on the sledge, slide, wall jump and then ledge hop. Like around here-ish. Just where the the light gray zone. And then you're up here, quick rise, quick rise again, kill him with the charge shot or missile, ledge hop, and then dash melee to bonk these, these platforms. Now we're out of the Emmy zone door. I'll teach this, but it's, you don't have to do it. So come here with a charge shot, right? And then aim kind of here. So this is called backdoor pseudo. Actually, I'll, I'll skip teaching this in my tutorial. I might make another tutorial on it later. Alright, so ideally dash mail off of here and then morph. Like press right and then morph. And then spin fall here. Spin fall here. Slide off of here. Slide and then grab this magnet. Then jump off of it, grab the sledge, and then jump in the opposite direction. And then you want to be quick about this. Aim Aim at kind of, um, 40, kind of aim, um, at a 45-ish degree angle towards down on the, the control stick. Like, where I'm aiming now, that's where you want to shoot the blob. You don't want to be super quick about it. Even if you miss it, you can always do that. So now, so off of the, um, power generator... Slide morph and then just ball hop and then quick rise. Then kill these with the charged missile and then ledge off of here. Then ledge grab off of here and then destroy the missile cover. Now walk through and you have morph ball bombs. Congratulations! This is now fifty percent of the run, believe it or not. Now dash me off this Chozo statue. Now lay a bomb. And then just slide morph and then just lay a bomb and then slide morph like that. And then use the then use a bomb to go through the bomb launcher. Unmorph and then dash melee and then kind of um wiggles the best adjective. Then slide through here, slide again, and then ball hop and use a bomb. On morph, then dash melee. 
Dash melee again. Spin fall, spin fall. Go through the bomb launcher. Do not go through here because we're not doing early grapple. That's for NMG only. Use the bomb launcher. Then stay morphed and then use the bomb launcher again. Unmorph. Slide off this ledge. Spin fall, spin fall. Kill him, spin fall. Coyote. And then what you want to do is delay your slide and then and then delay your slide and then grab the magnet like this and then ledge hop and then we're through now coyote jumps so that way you, you can spend less time in the water then dash mail off of here slide slide so i'll explain hole in one so Slide here. So slide morph and then do that. So you want to be in a um, neutral. You want to be in neutral state and then then morph like here. Again, the t again. If you don't get this, just fall in the water and then just not worry about it. So like that. Slide off of here, and then kill him with beams, and then progress forward. And now we're to Berenia, which by the way, we're only going here one time. I might make this in three or four parts. Now that we're in Borania. Um. I will teach you how to go through this room. So, slide morph and then kill him with a bomb. Then slide down and then shoot like this. And then spin fall off of here. Morph boost. Missile or bomb or morph boost. Morph boost so you don't have to grab the ledge. Missile him. Then then as soon as you're like right here, fire the missile so he can die. And then then mid air morph here, mid air morph again, lay a bomb, and then then he'll grab the bombs and he'll die. So then um mid air morph here, and then water ledge hop in reverse. Um, then walk through the room, cloak slide about here. I'm not super good at this, so be bear with me. Ledge hop and then mid air morph. Then, then as you're going through the Atom Room, which is, by the way, the last you'll visit in this game, by the way, slide and then charge a shot and then fire just missiles and then spin fall off of here. This is annoying. So, I'll just kill the thing. So, you have to do a coyote jump to get across. You could just use the magnet like this, but it's a tad bit slower. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to slide... And then we're going to, that was too early, we're going to slide and then delay your coyote, coyote jump like this. That's too early. You need to have an extended coyote jump like that. Now that I've covered that, dash mail off of here, morph boost off of here, and then just jump in the water and then mid our morph. And then unmorph and dash melee here. Ledge grab and then turn the opposite direction. Dash melee. Grab the ledge. Jump in water. Kill the Steves. Then spin fall off of here. Now kill him and then... So what you want to do, charge a shot and then... um. 
dash melee off of here. Alright. This check may seem intimidating, but there's a lot of um, timings. So, this is we're now going to cover back to a flash. If you want to be slow, which is a 35 to sec 40 second loss, you go down here and it's actually a lot slower. So, what you want to do is, um, first of all, so, first of all, you want to practice the timing of an infinite bomb jump, which is, which is just And, um, that's how you make the trick. The beat and rhythm is 150 beats per minute. There is a song list you can use, which is actually, which there's actually a link to in the Dread Discord, thanks to Jana. So, um, I, I like to be here. Important thing to do is maintain the rhythm. Because to, maintain, to do backdoor flash, you must be high in the air for long enough for the shutter door not to detect you. The other thing you need to do is you actually have to have very wide IB jangles. IBA jangles like this will not work. I'll show you what bad IB jangles are. That is bad. Do not have that. Rather, you'll want to be here and have wide IB jangles like this. Alright, that was backdoor flash. So again... Alright, so I'll explain Factor Flash again. By the way, we just got the Flash Shift. So, again, you just want all you. The two things you need to do is have an IB jangle. You need to have an infinite bomb jump angle wide enough so that way you can. um, The shutter door will actually let you in. Wide IB jangles are very important. There's actually a visual cue around here that you can use to maintain the bomb height. You just need to have a wide IB jangle like this. So, you want, you just want to have a wide IB jangle, so that way, um, having, having, alright, again, how to set up this trick. You just want to have a wide IB jangle like this. And just have the timing of an infinite bomb jump. Again, this can be made easy with practice. You need to have a wide IB jangle like this. There is a way to not avoid bonking the shutter door. However, I can barely get it. Again, there are ways, but that is the simplest I know. Even if you bonk the shutter door, you're still saving 40 seconds. So now that I've kind of explained back to a flash ball, flash here and then do two flashes. That way you can always get across the gap regardless. And then quick rise here, quick rise here. I recommend grabbing this E-Tank. Kill the sieve, flash towards the magnet, and then mid-air morph here. Or if you don't want to fall in the water, grab... <laughs> That's what you not do. You want to grab the ledge and then, and then you, um, then you grab the E-Tank. Flash here. And then quick rise here. Quick rise here, kill the Steve, I think. And then, and then a couple flashes. And then spin fall here, killing the little dude. Then kill the, then kill the creatures. And then just water ledge hop. Two flashes, more, just jump more from the water. If you have a turbo control like I do, I would just kill these with turbo. Then just kill these blobs. And then mid our morph like here. All right, diffusion scap. So you want to start off. You want to dash melee, right? You kind of want to aim around here-ish. 
aim, like, around here, where my charge shot is. That's how you do it. So again, it's just something called an unmorph pseudo. You do that. That's all you do. If you get, if you, you can always get the timing correctly on this. There is no RNG. And then the blob will be destroyed. Flash shift here, and then flash shift again. What you want to do is hold A and Y so that way you can flash it and shoot. Then just ball hop. And then after you kill that, flash it several times, just jump through the water. Then magnet, then one wall jump here, then flash shift, hold a charge, and then flash shift again. Flash shift, two flashes, flash again two flashes, and then flash again. Again, use missiles or quick charges, like we discussed earlier in the tutorial. And then just spam beams. Do the same thing here to kill the Omega... And then do the intended dev intended quick kill to kill the speed on me. We have nearly all the items we have to break the game. Congratulations, you now have the speed booster. So, I killed him in the ideal spot, I killed him on the ground. And because I was on the ground, just go a little bit like here and then start charging the speed. And then, ideally, you'll want to um charge your speed, press down, and then press B instantly. Or for simplicity's sake, just do this. Or you do that for the advanced strats. But what you want to do for simplicity's sake is just do that. And then wall kick here. Slide. Then store. Lay the bomb. And then ledge hop and then speed grab. And then ball spark up. Because if you want to grab this E-Tank, you can. I'll show you what you do if you want to skip the E-Tank. Again, when you have a Shine Spark charged, you just want to ledge hop and then spark. That's my consistent strat anyway. What you could do is just this if you, if you, if you, if you really feel ready to skip the E-Tank. And then flash, and then mid or more. Flash a couple more times. Flash again. Flash two more times. Coyote jump to grab the ledge. Shoot down. Then just go in front of the blob, and then just spam it. Flash shift, coyote jump, and then wall jump. Or you can flash shift there. Then unmorph, and then slide, and then flash shift. Quick charge the door. Flash shift again. This is faster than using Yellow TP, by the way. Go here.
flash shift here, and then spam beams, and then more fall. Like that. Not bonking any platforms. Kill the dude, and then open the missile cover to grab the grapple beam. And flash shift here. Flash shift and then grab the ledge. Dash melee and then flash shift. Actually, I'll explain. Okay. And then spark down. And then prepare speed charge. Alright, there's several ways to do this. The next trick is very important. I'll try to make it clear. So, bomby haste skew. Ideally, you would do it here or even here, but I don't like doing it here. I like doing it around here. No, I'll go to the next room to, to explain the trick. So, flash shift here, flash shift again, charge speed. I need to explain a few things. To pull this trick off, we need several complicated steps. Step one, do, we need to do something called a flash slide sync, where by holding the A button, like what I'm doing right now, then press A and Z all at the same time, and then just press the opposite direction. You'll get a flash, consistent flash slide every time. No pause, no pause buffers necessary. And then, after you get that consistent, you'll want to have the sh charge, Shine Spark charge. But first, I kind of want to have the sequence as we if we do not have the charge. So, have the Shine Spark charge, press free aim, walk off the ledge, and then free aim like this. Free aiming is very essential to getting the trick. Free aim like this. So free aim like this, right? Up or at an angle like this. Then once you have the angle, pause buffer like this. Just holding right. And then just don't switch directions in midair. Now we'll add the shine spark now. Since I've kind of explained that. There are many variations, but I'm just going to teach the walk-off method for, for beginners. So... So... We want to use free aim to unlock Samus's movement during the sync, like that. That is not what we do. We do that. That is not what we do. Well, the angle's not super strict as long as it's not too wide, right? What is happening here? Again, this is not supposed to happen. Like that. That is how you get the bombing haste you. So... So just do that. So here's what can go wrong. You either A, didn't get the flashlight at all. Something to know, the tiling is very much a preference. You can either do it from here. You can, you can, you can do it from here or here. Flashlight distance is really a preference. So again, I would just practice that. You either A, didn't get the flashlight, or B, you didn't do the pause buffer sequence correctly. What I mean is...
didn't do that, and then you let go free aim during the pause buffer, and just press right and pause buffer, because then, um, you'll always get the skew state that way. You can do it off of left side platforms, but what you do instead is you walk off, is you walk off like this, and then do that in a backwards form. And then you just do that while letting go of free aim. Then, alright, now that you have the skew state, we're going to discuss turnaround frames. So, the timing that I like to use is B, B and then, B and then jump. B and then, first press B, then press the stick. Because you'll always get a front facing skew. And remember, the timings are always the same. So you can always um do that if you don't if you don't if you if you if for some reason you're unable to get the skew timings, you can do that instead. You'll always get a front facing skew. A few things to note before we move on. You want to be very careful about your movement, because if you turn around like that, you will lose it. Be very weary of that, because now I don't have it anymore, and now I need to get it back. And now that I've kind of discussed basics on how to move, more slide like that off of here, flash shift, and then shine spark like this. If you fail to get the skew state here, or even here, just move on and get in a different place because I find that to be a tad bit faster. You can always get it from the save room. That's odd. I held the angle too wide. Why is she not doing the thing? That is how you get it. Now once you have it, charge a shine spark like this, store more, and then do that. Or if you don't feel comfortable with that, just, just get on this ledge and then do the setup. Alright, so... Important things to know, we're next going to discuss wall clipping. That may sound intimidating, but this wall clip method is actually pretty simple. First and foremost. Because, um... Water gives you... Water... Water... If you get a perfect skew in water, you actually get a clip angle. Because water has enough lag to where you can do it. So first and foremost, charge a shine spark, morph down, and then delay your jump. So that way you can always get a perfect skew. See how I'm shooting my beams towards the wall? You get a clip angle, and she's then moving slowly. So after you set that up, I'd say after two Shine Spark attempts, use a Shine Spark to get out, because if you if your Shine Spark runs out, you need to A, do a Water Bomb Jump here, and then do the setup, or you reload the checkpoint, which takes you all the way back to here. Super slow. Don't do that. She's moving slowly, right? So, we also need to discuss another thing. If Sam if you ever clip Samus out of bounds, she will die. However, you will you there's a way that you um there's a way to avoid dying in this game. I'll show you the first way we do it. So do a dash melee, right? Then charge a shine spark. Then I didn't lose skew. Good. Um, I just lost skew. That's actually not good. We're reloading the checkpoint. So, I'm going to explain. So, I'll kind of explain the motions for the unskew and grapple. I'll, in, I'll explain the motion for unskewing. So, there's actually a couple ways you can unskew. You can... 
if you if you aim back like this and then press melee, Samus will unskew. If there's another way to unskew, which I prefer, just morph and then Samus will break the skew state. All right, now we have the skew state back. I'll show this room optimally. Again, just after you, after you like don't get it a couple of times, then just get out the water so that way you can always keep the shine spark. We want to, you kind of want to um, un. So to unskew, hold free aim, then rotate the control stick up, and then um to the right, and then press X. Because then Sam, after that, Samus will be partially cooked into the wall. I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so then dash melee, charge a shine spark, unskew like this, and then shine spark through the wall. So Samus in this state, shine spark to this direction. Now I'll flash shift a couple times. So for the DT slide pseudo, you want to double turn around first and foremost. And then press fire. And then just do the after that, do the thing to um grapple. Then then press fire to um open and then do it like you normally open a grapple block. So for shine sinking. You want to keep skew here because so see this floor, right? You want to clip through it. So we're about to show something called a shine sink clip. First of all, again, do the same thing. Flash slide towards the wall. They're actually... So, how I like to shine sink, I will find visual cues in the environment. So, like this line. Because standing behind it, I will just use that to, to, to distance myself from the flash slides. Okay, I'm going to stop this soon, but we're going to cover this trick. We're going to sh shine link like this, and then once you have the shine spark charge, slide like this, and then fire the grapple beam at an angle, like that. Pract so, the I like to practice the individual steps, so by sliding and then doing that, you go through. Step 1, charge the shine spark. 2, flash slide. Three, fire the grapple beam at an angle. There's, you can aim down clip right here, but it's not exactly a preference. But I'll teach aim down clipping in the next part. And that's what you don't do. So, I just killed myself out of bounds. Lovely. Be stopping this tutorial soon. Again, just dash melee here, speed boost, and ski like that. That's how you do that. By firing the grapple beam at an angle like this, you... So, here's the thing about the grapple beam. Why we fire the grapple beam, it actually gives us immunity out of bounds. By firing the grapple beam, we're able to clip through this floor without dying by sliding through that. And then after you've done the shine sink, morph jump right here, and then fall down and then melee to break the Chozo section. Congratulations, you now are at screw attack, which by the way, you're not supposed to have at this point. So, now that we have screw attack, I will teach you how to get out of the room optimally. Flash here, then wall jump, then wall jump and grab the missile tank. There's a way to skip it. I'll show you how I skip it. So, then wall kick, I like to flash slide here. 
or you can um wall jump, wall kick, and then press Y to G spin to grab the missile. So that way you can be a little bit more safer. The same thing we're going to do. We're going to use water skew to get a clip angle like this. So, what you want to do is charge a Shine Spark, shoot in midair, and then press down. And then do three dash melees, unskew like we discussed, and then you're through. Three dash melees. Again, with skew timings, it's, it's just the same before. You want to press... B and then left, and then you want to be facing towards this wall when you're doing back facing skews timings. You kind of so when you're clipping, press the opposite direction, and then just do three dash melees, unskew, and then shine spark through. Now that we're through, sh ideally she'll land here, and then she'll open the door and flash up twice. I'll discuss another method of clipping mini tornadoes to do this. Walk the stick down. And then just rotate Samus a bunch. And then, um, get a perfect skew. That is not a perfect skew. Show you the correct attempt. That is how you get it, because her shots will fire like this. Walk a, walk along for it, like, for one or two seconds. Then... Then do two dash melees. And then dash melee and cloak at that timing. Then charge a shine spark, do an extra dash melee for safety. And then unskew like we talked about. I'll discuss how to do the speed keep here. Oh shoot, I found the water. Well, cool, I just got up there. This is not what you ideally want to be doing. No, come on. I'll just show, I'll just reload the checkpoint. So, to do the speed keep, when you, when you unskew and when you're shine sparking, press, press B to store on the slope. Do that, and then do the mini tornado sequence. You when you're when you start the spark, you want to midair spark. You want then you want to jump and then midair spark, and then do that for all the slopes. Did I get? Uh, that might be a bit wide. It will work. Again, if you go too far in collision, Samus will die. So midair spark on the slope. That's not good. I'll just show it again. As soon as you charge your science spark,
again, I get to show the backup. Do an out of water bomb jump, which is lay your bomb like above the height of the water. Like I just showed. Like, lay your bomb here. Lay it even a little bit above the water. So that way you have backups. Shine spark like this. The reason we do three dash melee is because she'll clip far enough into wall. Again, water skew has a large enough angle so that way you can clip hard collision. I'll explain the difference between hard and soft collision once I get to the save room. Again, just mid air spark once you start shine sparking. Mid air spark like that. And then wall kick, and then speed keep. Each time you get to one of these, each time when you get to the wall I'm hanging off of, wall jump, and then do that to maintain your speed. Now to the safe room. I'm going to wrap it up here. After this, I will explain the difference between hard collision and soft collision. Alright, the difference between hard and soft collision. Soft collision is stuff like doors and flippers. And hard collision is stuff that will never change like walls. Door covers, missile covers, thermal covers, anything that's doors, doors, or or stuff that will change like flippers, that is hard collision. Well, hope part two was informative. Stay tuned for part three. Hope this is helpful. Again, feel free to ask questions, and I hope part two will be successful.